All right, number 19, the volume of a sphere is this. What is the radius? That's the nice thing about spheres. You either have the volume or the radius, and you solve for the unknown. Let's look at the formula. There we go. And this one, it gave us the volume of the sphere, so we're going to replace the words there with the actual volume. All right, there we go. Now we are solving for the radius. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 3. And that cancels out the 3. So we got 4 pi r cubed. And that equals? 16 0.84. Yeah, we'll want to keep the decimal values because as we divide by pi, it should give us something a little bit more accurate. Something a little bit easier to look at. You'll see. So now we need to divide both sides by 4 pi so that we cancel out the 4 and the pi with r cubed. And that would give us r cubed, which is what we want. But we need to divide this side by 4 pi as well. All right, so by using the decimal, I assume we got exactly 1,331 is the radius cube. So we need to get rid of that cube so that we just have the radius. So we have to take the cube root of both sides. And that's beautiful because the answer is a whole value. That would be 11 meters for this one.